Devin's Table. I'm Devin O'Day. I'm Sylvia Ganyer. And we're here in your lovely, bountiful summer kitchen at Green Door Gourmet. It's bursting at the seams. Cucumbers. They are, talk about the Swiss Army knife in the summer kitchen. Really, they're in everything every summer, right? The lowly cucumber comes to the rescue all the time. And it's amazing that people forget what a great thing cucumber can do for you. What are some of those things? It can help you hydrate better than just drinking a glass of water. Oh, wow. Eating a cucumber, you will get more natural hydration because of the electrolyte balance. And a cucumber is mostly water with electrolytes. Oh. So if you just can't get enough to quench the thirst, mm -hmm. put a little cucumber in your water or eat the cucumber along with drinking that's the water. That's why you see cucumber water all the time. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. And why it's so refreshing. I remember being a kid and we'd get cucumbers right out of the garden and just chomp down on them. Mm -hmm. When you get hot and you get thirsty and you just grab a cucumber. Now you know I had, why. Now I know why. Well, let's talk about the different kinds of cucumbers. So there are little tiny, wonderful pickling cucumbers. And oh, are those not the cutest little things? They're so sweet. Cute. I, I love those. So Kirby cucumbers sometimes uh -huh. they're called. Yeah. Um, and they typically have a little bit bumpier skin to the cucumber. So these are little baby tiny Kirby mm -hmm. cucumbers that we're growing. Oh, I like that. And then and what about these? Now this is my, my sister really loves these. English or sometimes they're called Persian cucumbers. Mm -hmm. um, important thing, a regular cucumber like this one, mm -hmm. he doesn't need extra protection. He has a thicker skin. Oh. But this type of cucumber or those little tiny baby cucumbers uh -huh. that you see that are not a pickling cucumber, they're just little skinny versions of this, yeah. they have to stay wrapped because the skin is not um, a very thick skin or fully uh -huh. developed. So that's why you want to keep those in a plastic bag or they come wrapped in the store like this. Yeah. Don't unwrap them until you're going to use them. Oh, okay. And whatever you don't use, say you only use half the cucumber, you want to put it back in plastic. Okay. Because it will go bad super fast if you don't. And they, these are really good, and I think these are great sandwich cucumbers. They you are. You can cut, cut them long ways, and they're really good because they don't have a, a hard rind on them. They're you know? very soft and giving, forgiving. We like that. Yes, we do. Put your little cream cheese on there, have your little cucumber. It's a nice little, one of those fancy sandwiches. Yes, and so this, you know, the cucumber that we have right here, um, right from the field, literally picked mm -hmm. just a little while ago from Green Door Gourmet. Um, it's called a diva. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> and then ones you see in the regular supermarket are going to be usually market more Okay. Um, or something like that. They get a little bit longer. We try to grow the cucumbers that stay about this six, seven, eight inches tops. Mm -hmm. These start to get a little bit long um, for most purposes for us, but there's one great thing you can do with these cucumbers. So what? I thought I'd show you a couple little fun technique okay. sort of things here. So I'm just going to reach in my trusty drawer right here and get out my peeler. Uh -huh. And then you've heard of zoodles, right? Yeah. So cucumbers... And the, the church lady cookbooks, uh -huh. if you will, as you yeah. called it a little while ago, I think. My favorite ones, yes. Um, you know, they were the original zoodle makers uh -huh. with cucumbers. So now what you can do is you can just make a little slurry. This is mayo, uh -huh. apple cider vinegar. If you like it sweet, you can put a little bit of sugar to taste into mm -hmm. it and salt. Okay, so a cucumber salad with a mayo base. Yes. And then I chopped up a little Vidalia because oh, nice sweet onions. Vidalia goes great with cucumbers. And then all you do is you take your peeler and right oh, wow. in. And you go all the way down to where you see seeds and stop. Okay. Turn it, go again. This is very simple, very easy. You do not have to have anything other than a regular little hand peeler to do uh -huh. this. You go all the way in and you just make your zoodles right down into the bowl. And just Now, why it. not the seeds? Well, the seeds have way too much water in them. Oh, okay. And you don't want it to be too runny. Okay. It won't gotcha. adhere okay. to that. Plus, let's just be honest. The seeds get in between your teeth. They're okay. a little aggravating. And that's, is that where the bitterness goes? That's where the bitterness okay. is, the peel and then the seed. So we're going to keep it sweet because, you know, us Southerners, we like things sweet. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to go back and get any little ridges, you can. 
and then oh, you just take how it. how pretty that is. And then you just kind of put it together like that. Literally let it sit for five minutes and it's ready to go. This is not so something mayo, that, vinegar, uh, and if you like it more savory, salt and pepper. You can do pepper. I always put a little bit of salt in there because mm -hmm. cucumbers and salt are best friends. Um, mm -hmm. But don't over salt it. Okay. Because when you're doing recipes like this, you want to have a really good salt shaker or even a salt grinder. Like okay. I love this salt grinder. Oh, I like that with the and, big Himalayan salt. And then when you have it on the table, you salt to taste. Okay. A little bit in the recipe, so it matches for anyone. And if you want more salt, add more salt. Okay. Versus over salting, and then you're like, oh, mm -hmm. what did I just do? Yeah, I'm more of a savory girl. I probably wouldn't put sugar in there, but for those people who like a sweeter salad, mm -hmm. summer salad, it works great. So yeah. just a little bit and serve it immediately. Five mm -hmm. minutes it's made. It doesn't have to sit there all day and marinate. It's good to go five minutes in. And it still has a crunch if you do that. Absolutely. Man, I've never seen that before. This is so, so, so good and so, so easy. If you have a, t if you have a cucumber that has, it started to yellow mm -hmm. and stuff, you probably don't want to use those, do you? No, they're starting to get really bitter. Mm -hmm. um, what I would say do is take one end off, just use your knife, take an end off and taste that end. Mm -hmm. If it's bitter to you, bye-bye cucumber. Just get rid of it. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be very palatable in your can recipe. Can you use it as a seed cucumber at that point? You can save the seeds out of that. Absolutely. Yeah, that won't affect it. Okay. Yes. A lot of people, you know, they think, oh, oh, look how big this cucumber is. No, no. Smaller is always better with a cucumber. It really works better that way. Unless you're getting a Persian one that is really yeah. built to become yeah. a, a super long yeah. cucumber. Those, yeah. Yeah. And what about now, let's talk about some of these other salads that okay. you've got over here. So, um, I just, I love this. This is such a classic Southern salad. This is just beautiful tomatoes. Oh, wow. Yellow tomatoes, red tomatoes, some Cherokee purple, all oh. in there together. Just hunk them up mm -hmm. and throw them in. And then with your cucumbers, what you do, spoon. Uh -huh. If you battle with, you know, what you're going to do with seeds, you're just going to go in and you can dig the seeds right out. Just come right. Oh, right down the middle. With the fancy spoon tool. Yes, I bet you all have one of these at home as well. Yeah. And then now you come in and cut it into whatever shape. Some people like half moons. Some people like them mm -hmm. a little bit smaller. Um, I like little bite-sized cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, our friend Vidalia yes. appears uh -huh. here. So I have one big onion. I've turned it into two different salads. Cucumbers two ways. Super easy. And all the color. That's the thing about a summer table is really loving the color and have something special to serve it in because you don't want to put this on a plate. You want to have a bowl. That's you want so, to have a bowl. That, some good sop and vinegar. So what kind of vinegar do you use? Just apple what? cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Some people use different vinegars. Classic Southern salad gets classic Southern apple cider vinegar. Regular vegetable oil. Do not use olive oil or a flavored oil. You oh. want it to just be regular plain vegetable or canola oil for a salad. Okay. And Again, if you like it a little sweet, you can put a little sugar in there. I love to put dill. I was looking, I said, there's some fresh herb in there. Dill is uh, a wonderful bridge herb between the tomato and the cucumber. It works for either. Mm -hmm. And salt, pepper to taste, mm -hmm. you're done. And this can marinate in the refrigerator for a little bit. It can. It can. And I actually like it to marinate about an hour okay. for the flavors to kind of come together. You can keep this for one day in the fridge. One day. Otherwise, the tomatoes get that uh, mealiness you were talking yep. about, right? Okay. So one day and done for this salad. So make the amount according to what you need. Yeah, don't over make that one. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So, so super simple, super easy. And we're, we're all done. We've got some salads to dive into. and Enjoy. Y'all, meet us at the end of the show. We're going to tell you a little bit about some of the special activities coming on at Green Door, but stay tuned because the rest of the stories, they're pretty good too. This is Devin's Table. You can't see the sights without the sounds. From the crack of the bat to the roar of the crowd and everything in between, discover what Hit City has to offer. Spend your nights cheering on the Nashville sounds at First Horizon Park with giveaways, fireworks shows, theme weekends, and more. 
Single game tickets are on sale now. Visit NashvilleSounds.com to claim your seat today. I want to ask you about spinal decompression. What is that process and what is it like? Does it hurt? That's a great question. So, um, I, the way that I'm going to answer that is I've, I've been a patient myself about two years ago. I had pain in my shoulder, which I thought was a shoulder problem. And I did all the therapies I knew to treat the shoulder. Um, but it turns out what was causing the pain here was that I had a disc problem in my neck. So I did, uh, I did spinal decompression. And when I finally handled the cause of the problem, which was that I had a disc in my neck, putting pressure on this nerve that was causing all of these symptoms into my shoulder and arm, um, this problem got better. So is it painful? No, uh, because what it's doing is it's, it's distracting and it's uh, drawing fluid and nutrients back into the disc that's become compressed. And so as you do that, it helps to uh, keep, take and keep pressure off of that nerve. So it's not temporary, it's something that builds and with each treatment, I got better and better and better. And so uh, another analogy that I like to, to tell people, or it's not an analogy, it's what happens. In the morning, we start really early in the morning and patients, there'll be a row of patients on the table, they'll all be sleeping. So they all go back to sleep. So no, if it was uncomfortable, uh, I don't think they'd be sleeping. Uh, no, it's a, it's a comfortable, um, it, it, when the spine becomes compressed and there's pressure on the nerve and you open that up and you take pressure off of the nerve, it feels good, it feels good. We just need to get the body to sustain that. So uh, it's not gonna change someone's life in a treatment or two. That's why we work with our patients pretty consistently over a certain amount of time, which, which ultimately helps them get a maximum correction. At Mid-South Exteriors, our custom sunrooms bring the sunshine in without all the heat and the bugs. And they keep you warm all winter while you enjoy the outdoors all year round. They add real value because we build them like your house to match your house. Or let us save you energy by replacing your windows and old siding. And because we have no retail overhead, we come to you and sell direct to you for less. Call us at 833-8003 or visit us at MidSouthExteriors.com my name is April Patterson. I live here in Clay County, Tennessee, and that's where our family farm is. We have a little boy named Axel. Uh, he's two, and then we have one on the way. So what we do on Acres of Grace Farms is we're primarily focused on beef cattle, and it's a Wagyu, which is technically called Akaoshi. In Japanese, that just means red cow. So they're just, they're really pretty red cows, but we also raise corn and hay and silage and multiple crops here on the farm. We do a lot of agritourism events, farm to table dinners, we have barn sales. Uh, the family farm, I feel like it is a, an American staple. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is the dream, or it is for me. And to just think about the different generations that have farmed and been a part of that is something, you know, and to, and to see the generation I'm getting to be a part of it and now seeing my children get to be a part of it, that's something to just really be celebrated. Uh, so 
being a mom and a wife and a farmer and a helpmate and cheerleader and encourager, whatever it is that I'm getting to do on, that, on, on the farm to be of help that day is definitely the most important job I've ever had. just glorious. They're one of my favorite climbers. They're just uh, a mass of pink and white blooms right now. This is the garden between my office and the barn. And you can see that our little cat, one of our cats, uh, Sherlock, is on guard watching for any mice that might make their way into the garden. These espaliers, these apple espaliers are now uh, seven years old and they're uh, doing really well, bearing fruit. They're all Fuji apples and we're hopeful that we'll get to have some of these apples this, this year rather than just giving them to the gophers and, and rabbits. So anyway, this garden is also between our two garages and really is a beautiful focal point when you drive into our property. We planted more Eden around this window on our garage and it's starting to bloom as well. We don't have a very large palette of plants on Patina Farm. This front area is really just white roses Ollie's. The um, ground cover is a combination of catmint and um, lamb's ear. And then there's um, some lavender as well. These vintage saddle stones around our garden, they look like mushrooms, but they are actually um, in England, they put the granaries on top of these stones so that the rodents can't get into the grain. I love them because they're all different. And so they, they're all unique going down our, um, our driveway. So that's about all from uh, Patina Farm this afternoon. I hope you all are well and uh, we will talk soon. Goodbye from Patina Farm. Brenda Fielder. When it comes to sunrooms and screen porches, we have more than 60 years experience helping Middle Tennesseans add value to their homes. At Mid-South Exteriors, we install all types of siding, from hardy board to all the new vinyl designs. We also do custom trim, gutters and downspouts, we even do roofing, and of course, energy efficient replacement windows. Our website is our showroom, so we come to you and sell direct to you for less. MidSouthExteriors.com my name is Jessica Johnson and I am with the Homeless Education Program with Rutherford County Schools. Currently we have over 1,300 students that are considered homeless in our community that attends Rutherford County Schools and our backpack program gives food to our students so they have food to go home with for the weekend. We know that our students get the majority of their food from our schools, breakfast and lunch, and we know that when they're not with us, their nutrition is often not available. So the backpack program is crucial to keeping our kids fed. 
We were filling food bags for uh, Rutherford County Gives Back for the counselors at our many schools here in Rutherford County to serve those students um, that are hungry. It's a very rewarding um, and our, we are thankful that we are able to help the kids in this way. Our program is funded off of one grant from the state and there is absolutely no way we could feed our students on the weekends uh, because it's not a requirement. But for me as a mom, and just as someone that cares about children, I cannot imagine children having lunch at 11 o'clock and going home on a Friday and not being able to get back to school to eat until seven Monday morning. Um, with all the resources we have in our wonderful country and state, it's just a blessing that Farm Bureau is just so good to partner with us because truly they, they give the opportunity to our kids that I just don't have to give because of finances and that it helps give extra food to our kids and we're just asking for basic basic needs and Farm Bureau helps us do that helps us meet those needs. Shooting Hunger provides that extra food it it keeps them coming in the door and by them continuing to come to school it keeps them on track for graduation education is definitely what they need to improve their situation They said I wouldn't make it without a college degree. They said only a man could be a roofing executive. They said a former addict always relapses. They said my amputation would keep me out of roofing. They said never give an ex-convict a second chance. They said I could never be a leader. They said I couldn't support my family as a single mom. At Rackley, we say they're wrong. Want to change the world? Change it, one roof at a time. I love coming here, man. This is NASCAR country, you know what I mean? This is where everything happens right here. It's good atmosphere, good people. It's just a great place to race. That was insane. Honestly, excited, but incredibly nervous. Check the tires, we're good. I think so. That was the coolest thing ever. That oh, was great. A lot of fun. Woo! Still alive, baby. Let's go. Tired of hanging lights every year? We get it. That's why Southern Nights is here to help. We install programmable lighting on your home or business so you can enjoy beautiful, customizable lighting all year round. No more ladders, tangled lights, or cold nights outside. We do the work, you do the celebrating. Call Southern Nights today and take the hassle out of holiday lighting forever. For a free quote, give us a call at 931-241-3074 or visit our Facebook page at Southern Nights. Nestled in Nashville along the Cumberland River, Green Door Gourmet is a 350-acre organic farm, agritourism operation, and on-farm store. Green Door Gourmet grows a wide variety of fruits, flowers, vegetables, and herbs using holistic organic methods, providing our customers, including local restaurants and florists, with the absolute best direct from the field produce. Enjoy seasonal cut farm flower bouquets all summer long with our Green Door Gourmet Flower CSA. Farm field trips are offered March through October, as well as seasonal cooking classes and on-farm events such as our annual Fall Fest. Our on-farm store features Green Door Gourmet produce as well as products from our farm partners, the area's best local producers, including grass-fed meats, honey, jam, dairy, baked goods, and much more. Our local farm box program allows customers to take home a box with a variety of produce options based on what is growing at Green Door Gourmet. Join us in the spring for the You Pick Strawberry season. Our Countrypolitan White Oak Community Center is the perfect setting for weddings, meetings, 
farm-to-table and corporate events, and social occasions. Come visit Green Door Gourmet, just minutes from downtown Nashville. Well, I'm ready to go dive into a good vinegar salad or maybe one of these, one of these, this cucumber salad. Oh, it's just like yummy, yummy, yummy. What are some of the things that you're teaching? What are some of the classes that you have coming up at Green Door this well, summer? Well, we always love to teach about canning. So we'll mm -hmm. have some canning classes coming oh, up. Oh, wow. It's a lost art and we're trying to bring it back. And the, and with the overabundance of tomatoes that people get every year, it's always good to know how to can. We have some wine classes, wine pairing classes coming up with a um, wonderful instructor, uh, Billy Joyce. And then we have Italian classes with Paulette. And then you can traipse around the farm with Farmer Sylvia. So lots of fun things. That's what I like to do. Y'all, whatever you like to do, there is something at Green Door Gourmet, greendoorgourmet.com. And thank you for joining us. And a big thanks to Mid-South Exteriors for bringing us the show each and every week. God bless you. And if you are looking for a blessing, remember, you just got to first be, be one. one.